This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Friday, May 23rd. The busy weekend for travelers is beginning with stormy weather. From flash floods in the west to hailstorms and powerful winds in the east, what's believed to be a tornado touched down in Delaware, about 40 miles from Baltimore. About a dozen homes were destroyed, at least two people injured. One man was pulled from the rubble of his mobile home. He was recovering from surgery. He couldn't escape the storm. The storm also left a trail of uprooted trees and downed power lines. In northern Nevada, powerful winds blew up a dust storm over the Reno area. Forecasters say it came from a dry lake bed and was kicked up by a thunderstorm. Visibility dropped to less than a mile. A similar storm in western New Mexico may have caused a chain reaction accident. Millions of us will spend at least some of the Memorial Day weekend in traffic. AAA says just over 36 million people will travel at least 50 miles from home this weekend. That's 1.5% more than last year. More than 80% will go by automobile, experts say. If you want to avoid traffic troubles, you should be on the road by 9 this morning. Oh boy, and finally, a play for the Baseball Hall of Fame. The Dodgers, Yaziel Puig, last night, check him out, making a sensational catch against John's Mets. Before long, social media was calling it the catch of the year, which is saying something, seeing as it's only May. And by the way, John, as you know, the Mets won the game. Yes, that happens every once in a while. Not too often. Not too often. I won't, I won't let it go to my head here. But it does happen sometimes. It does happen. <laughs> Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Diana Perrette. And I'm John Muller. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.